Hey guys, welcome back to Berenses Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to compare ratios using word problems. So from our previous videos, we know that ratios are just a comparison between two numbers. And ratios can be written in three different ways. So let's say that we have the ratio 1 to 3. I can write this as 1 and then the word 2 and then 3. And then I can write this as 1 colon 3. Or I can write this as a fraction, so 1 over 3. But the, what you have to notice here is that all of these are going to be pronounced the same way, 1 to 3. So this is 1 to 3, this is 1 to 3, and this is 1 to 3, or 1 over 3, I guess. So what we're really saying is that we're comparing the number 1 to 3. So this is what ratios are. And today we'll be learning how to compare them. So when we're comparing ratios, we're going to see whether they're equal or not. And we're going to be doing so using word problems. All right, so let's go ahead and read our word problem. So in this word problem, it says... In basket A, there are three apples and four bananas. In basket B, there are five apples and ten bananas. For each of the baskets, write a ratio of apples to bananas. Compare the ratios to see whether they are equal. Now, one um, small thing that we need to really consider here is that it's asking us to write a ratio of apples to bananas. Now remember, the order in which it is written is the exact same order that you're going to write it in. So if it's asking us to write in apples to bananas, make sure that your ratio is comparing apples to the bananas. And we have to do so for each of the baskets. So we have basket A and we have basket B. So one thing that can help us out is if we write it down. So let's say that, so if we write it over here, we know that basket A, there are three apples. And there are four bananas. And in basket B, there are five apples and ten bananas. So this just helps us to write our ratios. So we're writing it apples to bananas, and luckily it's already in that form. So it's telling us three apples and four bananas, five apples and ten bananas. So in order to write this as a ratio, we know that we can write a ratio in three different forms. So it really doesn't matter which way we write it, but when we're comparing ratios, the easiest way to compare a ratio is when it is in fraction form. So if it's asking us apples to bananas, that means apples is going to go on top and then bananas is going to go on bottom. So numerator is going to be the apples, denominator is going to be the bananas. So for basket A, our ratio is going to be 3 over 4. And for basket B, our ratio is going to be 5 over 10. Now to compare these ratios, all we have to do is write them down. So we have 3 over 4 and 5 over 10. And when we're comparing, once again, we're trying to see if they are equal to one another. So if we put an equal sign, now we have 3 over 4 is equal to 5 over 10. In order to see whether these ratios are equal to one another, all we have to do is cross multiply. So when I do cross multiplication, I will be multiplying 3 by 10 and 5 by 4. So we all know that 3 times 10 is 30, and 4 times 5 is 20. Now these products are what are, what are going to determine whether these ratios are equal to, or not, to each other or not. We see that 30 and 20, obviously they are not equal to one another. Therefore, these ratios are not equal to one another. So this is how you compare ratios with word problems. So make sure that you are reading the word problem very carefully to see what exactly it's asking us. So in this case, it was asking us the ratio of apples to bananas. And it is always helpful if you just write it out and then you can write your ratios and compare them and the easiest way to compare them is when they are in fraction form however you can't do them in whether if they're in colon or word two or whatsoever because it's all the same ratio all right thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time bye